Hey guys, it's Patrick from One Source Video, the one source for all your video needs. Today I'm going to show you a couple of great switchers from Blackmagic Design, the ATEM Television Studio HD and the ATEM Television Studio Pro HD. Now, these two units look very different from each other, but really they're the same switcher. The difference is in how you access all of the features. The Television Studio HD is a compact, ultra-portable, two-third rack unit chassis with front panel controls, while the Pro HD has an extensive integrated control surface. As we take a closer look at these two switchers, you'll see that they both contain the same high-end features that make them worthy of professional use for broadcast and AV productions. So, let's get right into it. Both the ATEM Television Studio HD and the Pro HD give you the ability to work in all SD and HD video formats up to 1080p60. Both of these units contain four HDMI and four 3G SDI inputs. The SDI inputs have loop outputs that can be used for communicating with compatible Blackmagic design cameras. Each unit has an SDI program output, SDI and HDMI multi-view outputs, as well as an SDI aux output. These switchers also have analog audio inputs, aviation headset jacks, Ethernet, and RS-422 control ports. On the front of the ATEM Television Studio HD, you have eight buttons that allow you to directly select your video sources. You can use either a cut bus mode for direct switching, or a program preview mode to select a source before transitioning. You have your standard cut, auto, and fade to black buttons, as well as an aux button and buttons for your media players and downstream keyer. The integrated control panel of the ATEM Television Studio Pro HD is complete with preview and program buses, fader bar, and cut, auto, and fade to black buttons. It features a convenient audio mixer and buttons for all your transitions. At the top of the panel are your camera adjustment and color correction controls. It also has a keypad which helps you make quick adjustments to your switcher settings. Both the ATEM Television Studio HD and the Pro HD have an extensive settings menu that can be accessed through the built-in LCD display. To access all these settings and to remotely control your switcher, you can use the ATEM software control application for both Windows and Mac. Okay, so I connected some video sources to my ATEM Television Studio Pro HD. As I mentioned before, both the Pro HD and the HD have eight inputs that you can use to hook up cameras, decks, computers, or really any other video source you have. And the fact that you have four HDMI inputs and four SDI inputs really gives you a lot of flexibility. So connected to this switcher right now, I have three Blackmagic Studio cameras hooked up into inputs five through seven via SDI. And in input one, HDMI, I have my MacBook Pro, which is currently running the ATEM software control. And if we go to that, as you can see as I toggle through my previews, that every move that you make on the control surface shows up immediately on the ATEM software control. And you can see it works vice versa. If I change my preview sources on my MacBook Pro, you can see they change on the control surface as well. Using the multi-view output on your switcher, you have the ability to monitor your preview, your program, all of your connected video sources, as well as your media players. Your preview and program windows are on top, and the tally will indicate which source is active. You also have available audio meters to monitor the audio on all of your channels. Your multi-view can also be customized using the application. You can change the layout of your multi-view. You can also change where your video sources will appear in the layout. Using your preview and your program buses, and either the fader bar, the auto button, or the cut button, you can easily switch between all of your different sources. As you can see, I used a basic crossfade there, but the ATEM switchers come equipped with over 30 different transitions. All of these transitions are located on the control surface and can easily be accessed throughout your production. You have a number of different wipes. You can dip to color. 
You can also use the DVE, or the Digital Video Effects Processor, which allows you to push, pin, or squeeze between any of your different sources. You can change the rate of your transition quickly using the LCD display, the menu, and the keypad. Change it to three seconds. And now I have a three second crossfade between my video sources. You can also change the rate and all of your transition settings using the ATEM software control. Let's create a DVE push to the left with a duration of two seconds. Switch it to DVE, and now when I hit the auto button, I have a DVE push to the left of two seconds. Changing the settings in the ATEM software control application also will change the settings on your control surface. So now when I hit the auto button, I will have the same two second transition that I set up in the application. The DVE, the Digital Video Effects Processor, also gives you the ability to do some really great picture and picture. On the right side of your control surface, you have four DVE picture and picture buttons. Each one correlates to the position in which you can have your picture and picture window. To preview your picture and picture, you can use the preview window of your multi view. So, if I hit the DVE Picture-in-Picture Picture 3 button, I will now have a Picture-in-Picture Picture window in the upper right-hand corner of my preview. Right now it's blank because I haven't picked an active source to be in this window, so if I go over to Key 1 Fill and use these numbers here which correspond to your video sources, select 5 and hit the Auto button, I now have a picture-in-picture -in, -picture in the upper right-hand corner of my program. I can change the background by hitting the background button, changing my preview source, and hitting auto. I can also transition out of the picture-in-picture, -picture, hit the auto button, and now it's gone. You can create custom picture-in-picture -picture windows and make other adjustments in the settings menu and of course you can change all these settings using the ATEM software control. So, if I go to the upstream key one, you see that you have the ability to change your fill source, change the position and the size of your window using X and Y values, create a mask, change your light source and enable shadow, and create a border. Both the ATEM Television Studio HD and the Pro HD have built-in audio mixers which allow you to adjust each channel independently. The Pro HD has convenient knobs which allow you to make quick and easy audio adjustments on the fly. Both units have buttons to turn on or off any channel and buttons to toggle on and off audio follow video. In the ATEM software control you have access to a virtual mixer. You can adjust all your camera levels, analog input, your master, talkback, and toggle on and off audio follow video. The benefit of using a Blackmagic Design camera with the ATEM switchers is the ability you have to adjust many of the camera's settings. At the top of your ATEM Television Studio Pro HD, you have buttons and knobs to control all of these functions. First, you want to select what camera you want to adjust using the keypad. I'll select camera 5. You can now adjust your iris. You also have auto iris. You can zoom. You can change your focus. You also have auto focus. You can change your gain. And you can change your white balance. You can also make fine color corrections for each of your cameras. For both switchers, you can use the ATEM software control to make these adjustments. 
On the Pro HD, you can use all the controls at the top of the panel. You can make adjustments using your primary color wheels or your lift, your gamma, and your gain. Your lift is your dark tones or your shadows, your gamma is your midtones, and your gain is your highlights. This is also very nicely laid out for you on the ATEM software control. So right now I want to make an adjustment to this camera, so I'll make sure I have the right one selected, camera 5. And I want to make an adjustment to the gamma of the image, or the midtones. So I'll select gamma. Now using the trackball, I can make an adjustment on the gamma. And I'll move it more towards blue. And as you can see, the image is getting bluer. Now if I'm unhappy with this, I'll just hit the reset RGB button and everything will go back to normal. In addition, you can change the saturation of your image, you can make it highly saturated, or you can desaturate it. Bring the saturation all the way down. Once again, if I'm unhappy with that, I can just hit the reset all button and everything will go back to normal. An important feature that you have available to you is your media pool. In the media pool, you can load in images and graphics like title screens, lower thirds, bugs, and really any other still images that you may need. Once loaded in, you can drop an image into each of your media players. These images can easily be accessed during your production on your buses. Just use the shift button one, or you can double tap one, and that will bring the image into your preview. Now all you have to do is transition to it, and we have up a one source video title screen. It's as simple as that. If you have a PNG bug or lower third that you want to go live with, you'll want to use the downstream keyers. Just load in your graphics into your media pool, and go over to the downstream keying settings. You have two downstream keyers that you can use. I have my Media Player 1 located in my Key 1 and my Media Player 2 loaded in my Key 2. So now if I want to go live with my graphics, I can use the DSK Cut or Auto buttons which are located to the right of my fader bar. I'll hit the Auto, DSK Auto 1 and 2 and now I have my graphics. To remove them, I can hit the DSK cut buttons or the auto buttons again. You also have upstream luma, chroma, and pattern keying available for special effects. And once again, you can either set all this up using the settings menu with the LCD display, or you can use your ATEM software control. So let's take a look. Go up to upstream key one, and available to you, you have luma, chroma, and pattern keying. I want to demonstrate chroma keying to you. And you have your fill source here. You can choose from any of your sources. I want camera six. You can change the hue of the screen you want keyed out. You can change your gain, your Y suppress, or your lift. You can also use a mask or a flying key. You then want to go into your media player I want to add the image that I want keyed over my screen. Now all I need is a green screen, and I have one right here. And it's best to preview this in your multi-view before you go live with it. Now with my key fill source in my preview window of my multi-view, I can activate the key, select Media Player 1, which has my image in the preview bus, and I can go live. Now I have successfully and effectively keyed out my green screen. To monitor your audio, create commentary, or to communicate with your camera operators, you can use aviation headsets. You'll find the jacks for these in the back of your Pro HD and on the front of your HD. To communicate with your camera operators, you can use the direct talk buttons located on the top of your panel. The last thing I'd like to talk about today are macros. Macros are basic shortcuts that you can use to recall complex sequences of actions on your switcher. You can record dozens of switcher features and instantly play them back with a single button press. 
These will store every setting that you change and source that you switch. Macros make the very difficult very, very simple. To set up macros in the ATEM software control, simply select the Macros menu on the top. In this menu, you can record and edit, and then play back all of your macros. Thank you for watching this video about these incredible switchers from Blackmagic Design. They are easily the most feature-rich switchers available in their price point, making them ideal for both small and large productions. For more information regarding these great products, please check out our website or contact your OneSource Video account executive. Thank you for watching.